Oh my god. Oh shoot. What is up you guys? It's your boy Captain Jack. Welcome back to the channel. You can tell this backdrop is not Florida. And that is because I am in Peru. Everybody knows Fancy Boy, all time dive buddy, Spurgy. He took me to his homeland and we're gonna do some shore diving here. I don't know what to expect. Um, they said you can get flounders or some Cheetos or Cheetos? Cheetah. Cheetahs. That's gonna be the goal for today. I don't really know what I'm looking for. There's no regulation here, but we're gonna be selective. We're gonna only shoot like quality fish. Um, but yeah, new experience. The water apparently is absolutely freezing. And uh, I got a three five mil from uh, Spear America and uh, Spinning Boy's got a five mil. And uh, he said he's gonna be cold. So I can imagine what I'm gonna be like. We only have one set of fins, unfortunately. <laughs> I, we miscommunicated. I thought he had a spare set, but that was his set. And now we uh, we're paying the consequences. We're gonna be mono finning out there. And uh, we're gonna basically work the edge of this island. The viz looks pretty good. I don't know what's normal here, but we're excited. We're gonna hopefully get some fish, avoid some sea lions, avoid sharks. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna hit the edge of this island and uh, see what it's about. We're gonna warm up, gear up, and uh, hit up the waters. And I love doing this. Just spear in a new place i've never ever dove here i don't know what the terrain looks like i don't know anything about it so i'm amped up it's going to be exploring like a new alien world and even the fish that i'm shooting are different that i've never something i've never speared before so pretty pumped up spinny boy what do you think this looks good yeah dude this is prime time for this area so let's get out there see what we can get going yeah maybe shoot a few fish get some dinner yeah, that's the goal. Get go. some dinner, dude. Oh, I want to. We got shoot on pretty good just now. <laughs> oh no, dude. Why? Why? Crap. Literally, literally, literally crap. All right, well we're gonna get in the water and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not too cold. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get after it. I'm so excited. I get to take you guys with us. Which fin do you want? Do you want the one with bird poop on it or the one without bird poop? The good one. Alright, there you go. You got it. Mono fin in. Alright. Oh, let me deal with this stuff. Oh my god. There you go. Woo! Woo! Welcome back underwater, everybody. I am freaking pumped to kind of walk you through this experience and uh, kind of let you know what's going through my mind, especially since I'm diving a new territory. So you see these conditions are not what I'm accustomed to. Normally we're diving out of the boat out of Florida and this stuff is just some intense, like next level shore diving. These, uh, I mean, you can see how foamy it is, all the white water that we're swimming around. It's just some really high intense surges coming in and just throwing us back and forth against this shoreline. So, I mean, it's an epic backdrop, of course. You see those beautiful cliffs. And now I make my first drop. I'm going down. Really, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, one thing Spencer did tell me was that our target species is a cheetah and they are similar to a Bermuda chub. So those of you who know what a chub is, you know what I'm talking about. And I. Uh, Spoiler alert, I do end up getting a cheetah and uh, you'll get to see exactly um, what I'm talking about, how they look like a chub and that's like the best description you can uh, you could give about it. Uh, but I mean, all this sea life is very new uh, and I, I'm just taking it all in on these dives. I'm just going around, getting a lay of the land, seeing what kind of structure there is, seeing if there's caves and holes. Um, and the viz is okay. Um, it's not crystal clear, but it's not bad. Uh, on this dive, I saw a couple of little bait fish darting around, and I figured, you know what, that might be a good area to look. So I, you saw the bait fish right there. So I go ahead and take a drop, and I see there's like this little valley, and as I do, you just see all these fish darting. And as I take a closer look, I can see they're like chubs. 
Now that was a huge school and I caught us I couldn't really aim so I just Point and shot and I was just hoping for the best and I ended up lacing probably the best one in the school so these things look just like Bermuda chub almost like a mix between a uh, black drum uh, and they're pretty good so you see me there kind of getting Spencer's attention letting him know I got a fish uh, he comes on over and we rock these things on a stringer you see me braining it so we don't have to worry about it you know fluttering off the stringer uh, and the reason we have them on a stringer and not on our bodies is, is, uh, is because of yeah. sea lions. Dude, there was a school of like hundreds of them. Yeah, that's a good yeah they were like, oh, right over here, there's a lot of structure right here. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I just, hey, hey, I just aimed, I aimed for the school in the middle and I just shot, I couldn't aim for the, because they were all darting. Now it's always a good idea to be communicating with your buddy diver on the top. I kind of gave him the insight of where I got the fish and uh, so hopefully he can go down and do the same exact thing. And uh, now that we have this uh, fish on the stringer, um, ready to go make another drop, try to plug another one or maybe get a different species. So now I go ahead and uh, basically this is the same exact area where I shot that first cheetah. And now on this drop I did see some but I was being very selective and uh, now that I got one I don't see a sense in getting you know a bunch of little ones. So I was kind of and this is really cool here so I'm kicking this entire time but the surge was pulling me back and then once it released me it just shot me straight through the cave. So now you see some cheetahs right there. But they, like I said, they were kind of small, so I opted out of shooting them, waiting for maybe a bigger one or a different species to come along. Oh my god. Woo! Oh shoot. So now I got a little sketched out here. Holy the uh, current was kind of throwing me towards the rocks and I just had to sit there and give a really good kick and just make sure I pushed away from the rocks so I didn't get tossed up there and get cut up. Rip current got me a little bit. A little rip current got me. Yeah. Dude, I was like... You gotta be careful. I was a full body over those rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, just, I just relaxed and it just kind of sucked me out. It's all good. Now we are hitting the other side of the island, a little bit of different terrain. I saw a peterente. I don't know, Spencer lets me know what I shot later on. Uh, but I saw a couple of these smaller ones around and he said don't mess with the little ones, but if they're bigger, go ahead and give them the shaft. And uh, that's exactly what I did on this one. Not a stud, but uh, you know, I, I wasn't sure on the full size how big these fish get. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure I get at least another thing on the stringer for dinner. And while I was doing that, Spencer went over and it looked like he was messing with some stone crabs. And that's exactly what he was doing. We found these stonies and uh, they're similar to what we have in Florida. But uh, we figured why not? We're going to go ahead and give them a shot and uh, test them out. And uh, I kind of, he gave me an insight of where to find them and how to look for them. And that's what I was doing on this dive. But I had no luck. I couldn't see any. Um, but uh, at least I knew what they were look like and, or what they look like. And maybe uh, we could come out in a later date and uh, try to get uh, some crabs. All right, you guys, it was a success. Uh, my GoPro actually died like right before we were gonna head in and we got pounded by these waves. But uh, it was a success. Let's see what we got. Oh, Spinny got some uh, some like stone crab claws, which were, uh, there's like little hairy fellas. They have like little hair on them and stuff. But dude, those are gonna be good. And then we got a little mixed bag. I got, uh, these are called cheetahs. And that was the first one I shot. It was a big boy. And um, I was just aiming for the school because there were so many of them. I'm like, ah, and I just shot. And he gave me the perfect description of what to look for and what to shoot. It was like a chub. And they said these ones are like amazing. They said uh, if you get a chance to shoot a uh, cheetah, do it. They're really, really good. Um, they're like some of the best eating. So I'm pretty amped up. I'm gonna show you what it's like, you know, cooking these things up, what the flesh looks like. We're gonna clean them, do all that good stuff. But, uh, dude, that was fun. Yeah, man. That was sick. Hey.
first time driving here. Yeah. Show me the camera. Yeah, that was good stuff. I was uh, I was pretty amped up. But yeah, GoPro died last minute, uh, so we didn't get us coming in, but successful. And uh, I'll see you guys back in the kitchen. I mean, this look at this. It's amazing. It's freaking beautiful. Yeah. This is sweet. Yeah, just to go out on a whim and do this. And we solo finned it. That wasn't too bad. We made it work. Yeah, I know, right? It was it was hard to fight the waves, but you know, we, we got it done. And uh, yeah, like within 10 minutes of diving, I shot that cheetah and that was, or when I shot that yellow, what is that yellow thing called? Uh, pintaria. Pintaria, I shot a pintaria. So, all right, we're gonna get all the gear up to the car and uh, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, so we made it back to the house and we ended up just crashing, had some dinner, and we didn't cook up those cheetahs, but we're gonna, I don't think we had enough for dinner and Spencer wants to get some more crabs. So this is day two of diving and uh, sun is coming down and we are going to be diving offshore and the viz is absolutely incredible. I went surfing earlier today and the, it's just insane how clear this is. So. Uh, when you guys see me again, we're gonna be down there on the beach doing some diving right over there. All right, you guys, we're here at the beach. Got the GoPro in the case. You can probably hardly hear me. We're sending it right out there. Sunset dive. Sunset dive. Sun is peaking. Uh, we'll see you guys in the water. See what we get. Welcome back yet again underwater. Uh, yet another paddle out, swimming off the beach. Uh, now, but this is a little bit different of terrain. Um, and right there I was messing with Spence and I uh, snapped my band like we were uh, trying to attract sharks, which he was uh, kind of laughed about it because obviously there aren't any bull sharks here. Water is freezing. Um, but you can see it's just a little bit of different structure and uh, we don't have huge surges smashing us against the shore because we're a little farther off the shoreline and uh, just nice to uh, and this is probably maybe um, about a quarter mile down the beach and uh, we come into an area with these little black looks like oyster beds and uh, you see that's kind of where these crabs are laying and uh, these guys are a little bit different than the ones we got off the beach um, these they have like a little purple fur on them and uh, we apparently you can cook the whole crab but uh, we preferred to do it the other way and just get the claws because that's where really the sweet meat is and uh, I just have clips of me grabbing them and you see these ones aren't as hardcore as the stone crab claws in Florida um, we're more of uh, these are more kind of docile and kind of just not hanging in holes um, but yeah, just a nice little afternoon dive, grabbing some crabs. We got about uh, about a dozen each, maybe a little less, and uh, just having a nice little mix bag. We're gonna cook everything together. And now uh, we're finishing up diving. I'm hopping out, and uh, you can kind of watch what happens here. We have to bring this up, Spencer. We have to face our fears. Hey, it's your problem. All right, so you saw me like in distress at the beach because I filmed me getting out of the water and getting to the beach. And I was like looking at myself, I'm like, oh, something just happened. And I never really actually told you guys what happened. When I was like maybe 100 yards from shore, maybe more, um, I have a clip on my belt that holds my gun, anything. like, And I was holding Spencer's Rob Allen. And uh, somehow that carabiner, like the, the, the tuna clip must have like pushed the carabiner open and the gun fell off, which I held things on there all the time and the freaking gun fell off. So I like stopped, turned around, was like doing zigzag patterns, trying to find out what like where the gun was and uh, Spencer ended up going to the beach. He saw something was wrong. So he came out, he searched, 
and we were trying to zigzag and we could not find it and it was low light we were searching till dark and uh, you can see it's dark outside uh, and we just got in and uh, yeah so couldn't find the gun we're gonna search in the morning fingers crossed we find it but this is kind of it comes with the territory just happens so like we have I have it in my mind that like I know there will be casualties and expensive casualties but I told even them, the I, best heroes still yeah even the best even the best divers still lose stuff so don't feel bad if you lose something it uh, honestly it's a part of the it's it comes with the territory you will lose things and you'll learn from your mistakes I want to figure out from you what are things that you lost while diving because I know everybody has lost something while diving so comment below if you've lost something let me know how it happened I always love reading the comments and uh, I'll definitely respond if you haven't known I respond to all my comments so leave a comment below like to see what you guys have lost it might make me feel a little bit better besides that we went out we went and got some stone crab claws or some kind of claws i think those are dungeon-esque crabs yeah it's a mix of something like yeah it's a mix of different crab claws so we have a mix of those so we're gonna have that we filleted the cheetahs uh and what was it the pinteria yep pinteria the smaller fish that i shot we gave to uh, our buddy downstairs and he was really appreciative of it and he's gonna cook that and the cheetah heads uh but spencer's getting cooking right now we got some rice with garlic and peppers and we're gonna have some i guess pan fried cheetah and then probably some uh some salad or some avocado or whatever what about the fridge. claws the claws we got oh, the claws too that's yeah yeah, that's yeah we're gonna do the claws too so um yeah and I, I like the idea of doing the uh pan fried uh cheetahs uh because i'll get to try the whole actual fish and if you haven't tried a fish for the first time definitely do this uh give it a shot yeah, yeah, no fish out there. Didn't get any fish. I could have shot some more piterias, but yeah, um, no cheetahs or anything. No cheetahs and uh, yeah, nothing else. I was hoping for to see a flounder, but no dice on that. But we're gonna get into this. Uh, I'll show you some B-roll footage, and uh, yeah, just gonna keep it super simple. And uh, yeah, keep That's it real. It. Keep it real with y'all. And uh, I'll see you when uh, we're cooking. <laughs> Don't fuck it up, bro. You don't mess it up. What are you doing, Guggenheimer? What are you? I got it. Inside, I got inside it. out it. I grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one. That money shot, yeah. You're looking at them all. Ooh. Yeah, they're gonna be good. 10 minutes, we'll let that go. And then straight from there, we're gonna throw ice in there and just give them a freaking ice bath. And uh, that'll help separate the meat from the shell. I have a feeling some of the shells are gonna be so tough. Like, like thick. Pacific. Yeah, Pacific status. But we'll see. We'll see. And we got the fish already ready to go. And uh, now uh, we're going to let those go. Once those are finished, we're going to let them sit on ice cool. And when that happens, we'll be, uh, we'll be cooking up the fish. That's that. All right, we got the crab off the stove in there. Getting a little ice bath. Now, time to begin on the fishes. All right, fish is on, salt and pepper, both sides. Gonna lightly saute them. I think it's gonna be good. Bermuda chub has never tasted this great, ever. All right, it is taste test time. Go ahead, Spenny. All right, man, let's see what we got here. A little cheetah. Oh, man. Oh, dude, I gotta hit the line first. Oh, yeah, good call. call. Gotta be more. They're gonna line up first. Just keeping it simple. Mm. Good? Mmm, no. Well, it's almost like a. Compared it to a Florida fish. Let's say mutton. Mutton. That's real good. Mutton off the beach? I'll take it. Mmm. Time to test it. I want to make the sure. It's different though. The texture's almost uh, really trip to it's smooth going. What's that? Good It's good. Mm. Yeah. It's just like Bermuda Chub. <laughs> All right, we're gonna eat this, and then we're gonna get into the stone crabs in a minute. So we got that meat popsicle. You like oh, man. Stony? Good. It's very good. Is it as good as Stony? Or? Yeah, just as good. This is just good. as good. Yeah, sweeter. Oh, I want to try it. Ooh, God, dude. dude, I got the I got the big the mongoloid. Oh, it's so sweet. All right, hold on. Make the time. This is the dungeon esque crab. Keep that 
that's all of that. Okay. Good dude. That's good. Just like a stony. Dude, have you never had crab claws? They are of their own meat category. For yeah, sure. So good, dude. That was amazing. The stone crab, I don't know. I haven't. Let me try the stony. It's gonna be just as good for sure. Oh, for sure. I'll take the smaller stone. In there. Yeah. All right, the stony crab, kind of crab claws. Not as much flavor as the dungeon nuts. Yeah, those are sweet and delicious. Yeah, these are not as sweet, but they're still good. They just have a milder sweet flavor. flavor. Yeah, pretty cool. These dungeon nets are good though. All right, you guys, there you have it. Amazing meal that was freaking delicious. And it was a foreign meals from fish and crab that I've never had before. Really eye-opening experience. I love to do it. Love to take you guys with me, explore new territories. That was epic. But if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing. And like always, guys, I'll see you next week for another adventure. Later. Yes, dude! Yes! Woo! Where is it? Go fuck your job in. Alright, I'll clip it on clip. So this is how it was, like clip like this. I think it spun. I think it might have spun and like went like like this. Yeah. Like that. I saw that and got out, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That could that, that's hundred percent good. Well now you know don't, what not to do in swell. Dude. Recovery. Successful. Thank God. Yeah, I was freaking out for a minute. Only 30 minutes, it wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. 30 minutes, search and rescue, that's I'll take that all day. Yeah.